What's up my loves? My name is Paige. This is Paige with the Page, and today we're going to be reflecting on my 2022 reading goals for quarter one. This video is going to be dedicated to looking back on the reading goals that I have set for myself at the beginning of the year and just checking in every quarter to make sure that I am accomplishing what I set out for, if I need to change anything, or if I just need to get the fire up my ass. This is going to be looking at the goals themselves and then I will also have another video coming out that will be the full statistics of everything that I've read so far. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. I did allude to this and some of the goals that I thought I might be succeeding or failing in for the quarter year crisis tag. Feel free to have a look up there for the rest of the tag answers, but let's just dive into the goals themselves. So the first goal that I had was my Goodreads goal, which I always set to 52 books. As I would have said in the quarter year crisis tag, I have read 60. 30 of those are animals, 30 of them are not. My stretch goal for that is 100 and I'm on track to hit that stretch goal. This really isn't a big goal for me. I just set it at 52 because if I decide that it, reading's not a priority for me, then it isn't and I'm not going to be penalized in that sense. But since I've read a fuck ton and really got the reading momentum at the moment, 100 seems very doable. Next was my standalone list. So I have a list of standalones that I wanna get to. At the end of March, I had read four. Two of my backlist and two new ones. So that was part of the goal was that I wanted to read either six backlist and six new or eight backlist and four new. So on track, sitting perfectly where I want to be. So feeling good about that. Then my series. <laughs> so this, I really should have thought at the amount of books that would be required to actually accomplish this goal. So I wanted to do 10 series to completion and also 10 series up to date. So that is a lot. Yeah. And then I decided it would be a good idea to add in prior to my 2015 Goodreads list. I have read one book out of the like 20 that was on there and I am up to date with one series but the second book will come out at the end of November so I can't count that as being up to date in that series as by the end of the year it will not be counted under that statistic unless I read that second book. Haven't completed any. Mm. Yep. Very interesting on that front. I know that it's something that I'm actively working towards. I do read a lot of series and I am involved in a lot of buddy reads of series. So whilst I have started many, I will be actually continuing on with them this year. So I'm not too worried, but I'm not not worried. <laughs> Then for my big book challenge, I wanted to read 12 and preferably the ones that were picked out from the TBR jar that I have just here. For January, I didn't do the jar pick as it was just reading Animorphs and I read enough to constitute a big book, but it's not actually counted. It's not coming off my physical shelves, but it's okay. And then in February and March, I did read the book that got pulled out of the jar and I have read five in total. So doing well on that front, just not the ones that I, for January, not the one I thought it was going to be. That's fine by me. I'm still reading more big books, which is the aim of this goal. And these are all reflective to the end of March. I'm not counting anything that I have read in April. For my advent calendar, this has been an absolute success. Every month I'm checking off Two of the prompts which is what I need to get to by the end of the year then I will have a free space which technically I could have filled with a lot of things but I'm just leaving it for the moment I don't have a bingo at all but I am going for the blackout I will hopefully have a bingo by the end of quarter two then for my rainbow bookshelf I wanted to read seven in total preferably one from each color but if it worked out to be that it was others rather than the one of each, that was okay. Good thing I preempted that. Uh, so it is a, still a success because I've already read four. I've read two blue, one pink, and one purple. So take it that what you will. I do need to read another pink before I could read my last red. So I didn't really f figure in that I had an entire I had a trilogy sitting up there, so I needed to read the second and then the third, and they were in different colors. I suppose I just thought I was gonna read those as the two colors and that would be it. But this is going really well. If I manage to keep up how it is going, I will probably try and look at upping the goal uh, when I check in at mid-year, just to see if I can complete 
more than seven and what I would be aiming for. I know that there was 19, so maybe we go for 12 this year, but just depends on how the rating goes. And then looking at my hauls from 2020 and 2021, I wanted to read 12 from each year by the end of the year. And this is a thing that I need to keep focus on. At the moment, I'm behind. I've read three from the 2021 list and only two from the 2020, but I'm only one behind. But if I keep that, then it's, I need to catch up. Fingers crossed that this will all work out in the piece and I can, I can focus on it without it being too anxiety inducing because when I set this goal I just I didn't think about the amount that I acquire in a single given year and just how challenging it can be trying to overlap everything because my goals do not work in tandem. Then my book buying challenge, so Ash and I created a book buying challenge for me to implement and that has been a success every month. I am looking at revamping it for quarter two depending, I just want to see how the next three months go. If I'm, I find that I'm acquiring a lot of free books at the moment, a lot. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it's information that I have and now I can adjust accordingly. The buzzword has been a success every month and the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge was one I thought I was failing, but I'm actually not. I am too above where I need to be. So for that, at the end of March, it would have been week 13. And so I needed to have read 13 prompts if I want to do one every week. I'm at 15. Feeling good about that now. I know there were a lot more complicated ones, like prompts that I haven't fulfilled yet, but I feel like it is going to be possible to get to them throughout the year and being conscious of them to incorporate into Pluto where I can. Then for TBR Knockout. This can be a you decide if it's a fail or not. So the premise of it is to read your physical books and knock them out. However, I've used two ebooks out of the six prompts that we had. So for me, I'm still validating it because I have such chaotic TBRs that trying to fit in that extra little bit just made it that much more challenging when I was already reading things that would fulfill the prompt, but I couldn't juggle my TBR to get what I needed to. So I have used two ebooks, but one was an ARC, so I needed to get to it and review it. And then the other was an animals book, which I'm doing that this year, so I needed to read it anyway. So why not include it? But hopefully, fingers crossed, that I can redeem myself in April, May, and June and have all coming off my physical shelves. And then the last reading goal that I had was my scratch map and I wanted to read one. I have made no progress on that so far and totally okay with it. Uh, this is just one of those things. It's a lot of classics and I just don't reach for those. So if I get towards the end of the year and I start to panic, I can always throw it in in December, but we'll see how it goes. This is not a concern. I just thought it would be good. Last year I set my goal at one and then I read two so I was like cool I'm gonna set it at one again and if I read one great if I don't no worries if I read two fucking fantastic so cool. Then I did have some channel goals so the first one was subscriber involvement. I don't feel like I have accomplished this. I'm not sure how I want to make it work so if you have any suggestions on how you want to be involved in my videos please let me know. I'm more than happy to do really random videos to cater to whims. It's just a lot of fun having other people involved so on this I don't do a lot of subscriber polls or things like that. I could incorporate that into Cluedo. It's just timing and all of that good fun stuff so who knows I might figure out something and we can have more involvement but at the moment, I'm drawing blanks, so this has not made any progress. My second one was community community collaboration, so booktubers and other booktubers and things like that, and I definitely have done this. I'm part of the Bookstar Reads, so we're doing the Discovery of Witches and the Modern Instrument series together, which is so much fun. I've been chilling with so many other booktubers and just expanding my networks and greeting people, and it's weird, and I love it. So I feel like this is good. Not Safe for Workathon is currently in the final stages. It is almost ready to go, and I am so excited. I cannot wait to show you the live announcement and then the actual video announcement as well. It's going to be so much fun and I can't wait to just deliver this to the world. I'm 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 so excited. Like ah, I have passion for it again and it's marvelous. So 
yes then I wanted to make my Facebook book club the library of them red run a little bit more smoothly don't think this has happened the daughter of the moon goddess read-along that we did though was really good and we had people talking and so I had a lot of fun with that but I've been slacking I don't know half number five was to gain editing and thumbnail skills nope haven't even looked or thought about that I forgot it was a goal you guys you you get this and uh yeah I think having the transitions in my vlogs was a marvelous thing that that was me stepping it up so uh yeah got a, got a long way to go with this goal but it's only the first three months I still have another nine to kick myself into gear and then number six was either weekly or fortnightly lives and this is a success I have been doing fortnightly lives on my channel and then on the alternating fortnight crystal from bomb book reviews does it on her channel and I occasionally pop in there and it's just been so much fun I love our community I love having that live interaction and just being able to be like sup guys or if you know I've had a bad day just people being so amazingly supportive and just chill so can you not that has just been absolutely wonderful and I am so thankful of everyone that rocks up and just it's been it's been so fun just in the last three months alone so I can't wait to continue on for the rest of the year all right so that was just me looking at my goals and saying yay nay yay ugh. <laughs> let me know in the comments have you set any goals are you checking in with them or have they just completely gone out the window if you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you on my next video. Bye!